This is a video demonstrating how stream computing, and in particular IBM's Infosphere Streams product, can be used to enable smarter traffic management. This work is a collaboration between IBM Research, IBM Sweden, and the Rawl Institute of Technology, KTH, in Stockholm. Key data for this work was provided by the Swedish Road Administration. First, a brief introduction to IBM Infosphere Streams. It enables continuous ingestion of large amounts of streaming data and allows performing various kinds of complex analyses on this data with very low latency. In this demonstration, we will be showing some sample traffic-based applications that can be run on Infosphere Streams. Infosphere Streams supports a highly modular programming environment and allows building new kinds of applications very quickly from existing pieces. This demonstration has been built for the city of Stockholm the Stockholm Road Network covers a region of 10,000 square kilometers. The network, which is provided to us by the Stockholm Road Administration, has 630,000 road segments. Let us now zoom into the E4, E18 and E20 highways that connect Stockholm to Alanda Airport. The red markers go north towards the airport and the green markers go south towards Stockholm city. The demonstration uses real GPS data traces collected in 2008 from a fleet of about 2,000 vehicles consisting of taxis and trucks. Different types of vehicles have different kinds of GPS devices. The truck GPS data includes location, speed and heading and comes to us once every 30 seconds. The taxi GPS data, which is the majority of the data, only provides location information and comes about once a minute. The steps involved in processing this data include data cleaning and denoising, mapping the GPS locations to the road network, generating statistics on the vehicle speed and counts for each road segment, and estimating the travel times between different parts of the city. One important feature of our work is in incorporating the variability in speeds and travel times. Finally, we can store or archive the results for later offline processing. This is only a sample application it can be easily extended to include additional kinds of information and additional analyses on the data. Infosphere Streams allows running this application with very high throughput and low latency. We can process in the order of 250,000 GPS probes per, probes per second with plenty of scope for making this number even higher. We now show the historical and current speed information for one of the 630,000 links. This plot shows the speed trends over a day and the plot cycles through different days of the week. Here, the blue region shows the historical statistics and the red markers show the current average speed over a 5 minute window. Note we collect separate statistics for weekdays and weekends. Here, we replay the archived GPS data at over a thousand times the actual rate. This corresponds to a peak of about 50,000 GPS points per second. Some of the challenging tasks in this work are to map GPS locations to road segments and then to estimate speed, path and heading of a vehicle based on successive GPS points. This requires low latency, real-time analysis of large volumes of GPS input data. Let us now examine the statistics represented in the blue region more closely. The center line shows the median speed on the link. The dark blue region represents the region between the first and third quartiles. The light blue region represents the region between the extremes of speeds after filtering the outliers. Notice how the mean speed on the link is about 80 km per hour, but there is a dip in the morning and in the evening during rush hours. Let us now move on to predicting travel times between different points in the city. This plot shows the historical and current travel times from a certain link to the Alande airport. The blue region shows the historical travel times while the red dots show the current travel times as measured by vehicles actually traversing that route. Notice how the mean travel time is around 20 minutes for most of the day but there are times when the variance is much greater. Apart from observing the current traffic conditions, we can also predict future traffic conditions on a given link based on 
the current traffic conditions and other inputs like videos from cameras on the road, weather forecasts, accident information and so on. We can build forecast models for this purpose from analysis of historical data and other domain knowledge. The data analysis can be applied to all 630,000 links on the road network to obtain speed predictions. We now show the speeds on different links using different colors on the links. Observe how the speeds on different links change in real time as we continuously monitor and analyze the data obtained from vehicles on each of the links. Such traffic analysis is useful for a variety of end users including road administrators, urban planners, commercial enterprises and individual consumers. Infosphere streams can provide different kinds of interfaces and dashboards where these users can request specialized analysis to be performed. Apart from link-based processing, we can also perform region-based processing. For example, we can define arbitrary regions on the map and perform operations on a region-wide basis, such as calculating the count of vehicles in a region. Notice how the count of vehicles in a region shows a marked difference in this example between weekdays and weekends. We now show a live view of the stream processing application running on Infosphere Streams. This visualization, which is part of the Infosphere Streams development environment, shows the different operators in the application. We shall now shift to a different view of the application where we lay out the operators by the processes they belong to. One of the features of Infosphere Streams is that it can fuse multiple operators into the same process so as to reduce the latency in transmitting data between the operators. Let us now examine a different layout where we lay out the operators by the machines or the hosts they run on. In this particular application, we split the operators across different hosts so as to balance the load across them. Finally, this tool also allows monitoring the rate at which data passes through the different operators. In this demonstration, we have seen the use of IBM Infosphere streams in providing various kinds of real-time traffic services. Infosphere Streams, though, is a general-purpose stream processing platform and is being used in a variety of domains beyond this specific traffic demonstration. Some of the domains include monitoring biosensor data for early detection of sepsis in newborn babies, analyzing financial data for trading purposes, analyzing network packet data for cybersecurity applications, and so on.